welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a video on the now controversial Anastasia subculture palette. Short answer, save your money. Um, yes, I have actually been enjoying it for the most part. However, there are some major problems with this palette. Um, first off, the kickback. I mean, I don't know. I'm going to see if you can see. I mean, look at that. There is literally, it's come off of the brush and it's inside the little brush holder. Look at this. This was clean yesterday. I used it yesterday. I had wiped it down. It is so dirty. Um, I bought this off Anastasia's website the day it was released, which was my 30, 47th birthday. Yay me. And I was so excited to get it. Um, it didn't come until I was gone on a little tr weekend trip with my husband up to Minneapolis. Um, so I didn't actually get to play with it until about, well, I got home on Tuesday, August 1st, and I was sick. So I didn't mess with it that day. And I still wasn't feeling good on the second, but I kind of played with it just a little bit. And overall, I like the colors. They are extremely pigmented extremely pigmented however okay I'm going to use this is a Japanese brush it is clean I mean you know it is what it is it's stained I use a lot of I use a lot of that color um let me see I'm gonna zoom in here okay look I tapped it three times. Look at that. Look at that. Look at how it's all over my brush. I mean, I tapped it three times. I mean, good gravy. Sheepers. Okay, this is actually the Anastasia brush that came with the palette. Well off the excess here. I'm going to just see if I can't dip into this one right here. Again, I tapped three times. Look at that. I mean, they are very, very pigmented. Come on, camera. There I am. Very pigmented, I mean. But they don't blend crap. Look at that. It just doesn't blend very well. Um... I've worn it three times now, once to work, once at just going out to eat with my husband. In fact, I put that picture up on Instagram. I enjoyed the look. I did. But literally to get it, you just kind of have to put it on there, barely blend, and pray for the best. Because if you try to blend it out, everything gets kind of muddy and murky, and it just doesn't look good. Um, this cube here is really pretty just over the top but it does not show up for nothing I mean can I do it again I mean look at that it it's very iridescent it's very pretty over the top but you can't wear it alone this electric I found right here this one I have found there's like a hard shell on top of it and you kind of have to get through that before you can actually get the color. I love edge. I mean, I really do. This I love this edge. I have used it I think every time I put this on. But they I complained about the fallout from the Sephora Pro palettes. Oh my gosh. That was nothing compared to this. I mean, at least with the Sephora palettes, you had to, you know, swirl to get some. This is you tap it once or twice and you got fallout all over the place. In fact, there's now... I have it all over the table. Ugh, seriously. I have eyeshadow all over the table just from swirl... just tapping this six times. I mean... I love the colors. I really do. I have, I've had a good time playing with it, but there was one time I was putting it on. Thank God I was just staying at home messing around. I put it on. 
It was a freaking disaster. It wasn't a freaking disaster. It was a fucking disaster. I just had to wipe it off and start all over again. And while I know sometimes my blending skills probably use a little touch up from someone who actually knows what the hell they're doing, um, <laughs> these just don't blend. And sometimes, depending on your color coordinations, uh, they kind of blend into a muddy mess. Uh, and I mean, like, like it looks like they oxidize, but I think it's just this color and this color, just, just they don't blend very well. So my advice, just wait. Um, supposedly, I've heard a couple different rumors now. You know, of course, you know how the rumor mill goes in the beauty industry. I've watched a couple drama channels. Um, one says Novena. She's like the president of Anastasia of Beverly Hills. She's actually the daughter of the infamous Anastasia. Uh, has flown to their labs to fix this. Um, I've read a couple things on Twitter that have said, oh, it's a pressing problem. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. Well, fix it. I, I don't care what you do. I've heard another rumor that there is possibly a sale of the Anastasia of Beverly Hills to, like, one of the big, you know, big, big brand name beauty companies. Um, and that's why they're kind of trying to cut corners a little bit. I don't know, but literally I was heartbroken because the Anastasia Modern Renaissance and Mario palette is one of my favorite. In fact, I've got Modern Renaissance on my eyes right now. I'm getting ready to go to work for the night. I had considered putting this on and showing you what it looked like, but to be honest, I didn't want to have to wipe off my eye makeup and start over again because, you know, I'm getting ready to go to work. I only have limited time because, well, to be honest, I'm a little lazy and I don't like to have to get to work or I don't like to have to start getting ready for work until I absolutely have to. So I just didn't want to even waste my time. Um, in case, you know, I put this on, I had to wipe it off, put it on again, because I've had to do that. And that was just playing around at home when the only one who was going to be seeing me was my husband, but I didn't want him going, oh my gosh, honey, what the hell's wrong with your eyes? Because that's what it was. It was, uh, oh my gosh, what the fuck? <laughs> that's awful. So, subculture save your money. I hate to say that because I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. They made two of my absolute favorite eyeshadow palettes. Um, and even that, that, I have heard people who are now like buying modern renaissance now because, you know, they're running, they're running low, they're running out, uh, they're hitting pan, you know, because it's been out for more than a year now. I have heard a few people that are like, there's a difference between what they bought before when it was new and what they're buying now. So I don't know if they changed things in their lab, if they're using cheaper ingredients, if they're using a different machine to press it. I don't know. But get your shit together, Anastasia, because, yeah, this, save your money. I'm going to play with it. I mean, I, I bought it, I own it, I'm going to play with it, but save your money. So with that, I'm going to say peace, love, and take care of yourself. I'm going to go take care of a bunch of people that can't take care of themselves. So, bye-bye.